what would be your message to a young woman in another part of the world who f feels the need to give back, give to the community, and who feels the need to create an awareness amongst people about an important issue and doesn't, uh, doesn't feel confident enough to do it alone by herself because there are so many opposing forces that you see in the beginning that actually react against the change that you want to make because change is always hard to accept. And I wonder if there's something in you that kind of told you and that you could, you know, share with another woman in Africa, in Middle East. Well, you know, I was like a firebrand. <laughs> and I must say that in those days, I did not know the, the strength of the opposition that I was taking on. Um, in retrospect, if I were to create another sanctuary, I would probably be killed uh, because of the vested interest. But I think, you know, there's a wonderful saying which goes that you should have the courage to change the things you can, the serenity to accept the things you cannot, and the wisdom to know the difference. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice statement. Mm -hmm. and I, I like that. Statement. I think we got to capture it. <laughs> <laughs> Courage to do. Courage. Courage to change the things you can. The serenity to accept. to accept the things you cannot, and the wisdom to know the difference. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and there's another thing I would add to it, and I'd say, um, I don't know if it's the wisdom or the maturity to let go when it's time to let go. Absolutely, yeah? it's so important, you know, yeah. Brenda. Otherwise. One just gets caught up in, it's like those hamsters in the circus who can't get off the no. treadmill. You know, then one just goes on and on. And then one thing that I would also like to add here is that it's, it's very easy to let power and, and fame go to one's head. I, you know, there was a point of time where the Panchachuli women actually demonstrated that they could at will elect or throw out an MP and an MLA. There was that much power. You know, there still is, um, that they were actually able to swing elections in whichever way they wanted to because of that power. And then, you know, for me, it was also like, as I said earlier, you know, the intelligentsia of Almora, here comes this loose, half foreign woman riding a motorcycle who's going to come and corrupt everybody. And, uh, you know, 10 years later, oh, madam, you know, and the chief minister coming and visiting me, oh, madam, you know, so those kind of things can get into one's head. And I think uh, it's really the grounding that my parents gave me and the fact that, as I mentioned, I have such a wild streak in me that um, I did realize that if I walk that walk too long, then I'll get so caught up into it that I would not be able to be me. So therefore, you know, and finally, it's not important. Finally, it's really not important, all the trappings of money and power and fame and all these things, they come and go. I think what's important is to be comfortable with oneself at the end of the day. <laughs>